cheese, please. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. Today, a wonderful, uh, kind of a lesson on cheeses. Two parts to this story. First, we're going to talk about a wonderful offering from our friends at the cheese table, number one. Number two, I get to set up a beautiful cheese display. I want to show you how to entertain with style the next time you have friends over. And yes, it involves cheese, please. This story started a couple of weeks ago. We're in the city now these days shooting because it's so cold up north. We're at Carol's kitchen, sitting at the counter, doorbell rings, and Carol comes back to the kitchen. She says, oh, here you go. This is my delivery from the cheese table. She says, well, open it up. So I'm gonna walk through the same thing with you. I opened up this bag and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And Carol says, we're members of the cheese club. So every month we get a bag from the cheese table and in here is some interesting cheeses we get to try for the first time. The wonderful thing when you get a package like this is new discoveries for cheeses. How amazing. The nice thing about this program, the cheeses change every month. And you get to open up this beautiful bag and pull out not just those cheeses but also some really perfect pairings. Oh, and there's one other thing in here as well. So important, how about some signature tasting notes? I've never had Italian cheese from Quebec before, but thankfully I can reference the notes and find out everything about it. Uh, head to cheesetable.ca, there's story notes and details in our story for you to reference. And now I wanna talk about part two of this. Let's talk about their second offering, which is the cheese collection. A Little bit of a different process, uh, as I open the bag, I just want to say a couple of things. Number one, trust these professionals. Ali, Sue, Roxanne, they are cheese specialists. They know everything. Don't micromanage it. Just let them pick a selection of cheeses they most enjoy, because I know your guests are going to enjoy them as well. In this bag, there are no signature tasting notes. Instead, how about a handy diagram of how to set up a cheese board? But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. Uh, I love this look though, right? Less is more is the way to go. And I'll show you that when we set up our cheese, cheese table as well. They include a beautiful bag uh, with little labels and tags. Oh, and then when you are ready to display your cheeses, you simply pair the name on the cheese to the name on the tag. And this is a wonderful way for you to be able to explain the, or you don't explain it, the tags, explain the cheeses to your guests. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do like a little bit of a combination of my favorite things. I'm gonna take this beautiful selection of cheeses, we'll place them on a cheese board, I'll put out the right service pieces, and then maybe some fresh fruit accompaniments. Oh, there's also a couple of fantastic things they included, of course. Oh, I want me some spicy pickled carrots. And yes, who wouldn't, oh, listen to this, pear and vanilla jelly. Let me set everything up, I'll walk you through it, and I'll show you how beautiful uh, a cheese collection setup can be. Having something like a Lazy Susan is really wonderful for a cheese display like this. Front and center, fresh fruit. I'll also be putting out some apples, pears. I can also add in some very beautiful figs. So I can nestle these uh, in and replenish them as guests start to take the figs and enjoy. Now we're on to one of the accompaniments. We'll go over here for guests to enjoy. Don't forget, you've got to place something for people to enjoy it with. Now let's continue with the cheeses. How about our first cheese? And I love the way it's packaged. Remember, after you open up, in this case, it's a really gorgeous pecorino. Don't forget, after you lay out this beautiful cheese, save the paper because you're going to want to wrap any leftover cheese in the end. Placing the cheese on the board is perfect. And then you place in the tag for people to be able to read about the cheese and they also know they're going to enjoy a beautiful pecorino con pepe, a pecorino with some beautiful black pepper. On to our next cheese. Now you notice the pecorino went on the board, directly on the board. I like this idea though, taking something like Gaelic leaves or salal, some sort of beautiful fresh green, you could even use fresh herbs, place it onto your board and then a beautiful soft cheese. Oh my God, look at how gorgeous this looks. And then place in that tag for your guests to see. Turn the board. Another hard cheese facing down and out towards the guests. 
and tag goes in. I love transferring accompaniments into little tiny dishes like this. Make sure you put your fork in there, how beautiful. So you can go back and adjust this as you go along. Some cheeses you place out like a little round or square of parchment paper. This cheese is remarkable. It comes in a piece of bark. So we're gonna peel that bark away. Look at how gorgeous it looks. Just peel the bark away. And the cheese goes down onto the piece of parchment, adding our tag, and continue. Next cheese is a hard cheese, again, facing down towards the guests, placing in our tag. I love the addition of the green. Again, back to some Gaelic sleeves for another creamy cheese onto the Gaelic sleeves and this goes on. It's really wonderful to have proper cheese tools and you would go around, keep spinning your beautiful display, placing out an individual cheese utensil for each type of cheese. Uh, and I like again to serve this with some fresh fruit, apples and pears, small crackers. I think this is a fabulous way to enjoy this gorgeous cheese display. Uh, trust me, serve something like this at a party and your party will be a hit. Looking for other hits? Head to weekendatthecottage.com. Remember to sign up for our newsletter. Check us out on our dedicated YouTube channel. Remembering to click for notifications, also subscriptions. We'd love to hear from you on YouTube. And then finally, on one of our favorite and your favorite social media platforms, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Nick Manoilovich from all of us at Weekend at the Cottage. Thanks for hanging out. Come on back and visit again soon. Take care.